Hi, in this video we are going to look at how to use the Revolve tool uh, in Onshape. So the Revolve tool is used when we want to basically spin a 2D shape on an axis of revolution uh, to turn that into a, a 3D model. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'll create two shapes here using the Revolve tool and the Revolve tool is just up here. Uh, I'm going to create a sphere from a semicircle and then I'll create uh, another uh, slightly a different shape, a bit more complicated shape using the line tool. So I'll click on sketch to get started to draw my 2D sketch and I'll select one of these planes. I'm going to go with the right plane. All right, so I've got a sketch now on the right plane. I've just selected that. What I'll do first is I'm going to create an arc uh, and then I'm going to uh, uh, swing that arc around. Uh, which is going to be used to form my sphere and then I'll draw a line down the center that that, uh, that shape, that semicircle is going to revolve around on to create a, a sphere. So I'll choose, uh, I'll go with a center point arc and I'm going to draw it out from the origin right uh, here in the middle. So I'll click there and then I'm just going to uh, move my mouse up and click again and then I'm going to move my mouse around to draw the arc on this side. I could draw it on the other side as well, but it doesn't matter. I'll draw it on this side and then uh, click when it, once it snaps to that point there. And uh, I've got an arc now. Uh, now it's about, uh, I think, 35 millimeters there. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make it uh, 25, the radius. All right, so now it's got a radius of 25 millimeters and I could go in on the right hand side here um, to view that uh, front on or I could hit the end key on my, my keyboard as well. All right, so um, we've got an arc there. Now what I'm going to do is use the line tool and I'm just going to draw a line from top to bottom. So from the top point to the bottom point and because the radius of the circle of the, the semicircle is 25 millimeters this line uh, or which is going to be the diameter should be 50 millimeters all right and that's it so i've got a semicircle there now i'm going to click on that green tick to finish off that sketch and now what we can do is use this line that's going down the middle as the axis of revolution so we're going to make this semicircle revolve or spin around uh, from the center there to create a sphere. All right, so I'm going to just select the arc. I won't select the whole shape, just the arc. And then I'll click on revolve. And now here it says, um, I've got revolve one here. It says edges and sketch curves to revolve. And I've already selected that edge there, that edge of sketch one. Now what I'll do is click on revolve axis. And I'm going to click on the line to use that as the uh, revolve axis. So click on that line and that's it. Click the green tick and we've got a sphere. All right, so um, it's just revolved that semicircle shape around on that uh, center point to create a sphere. All right, I'm gonna delete that now and I'll delete the sketch too. And I'm gonna create uh, a bit of a different shape here. So what I'll do is I'll click on sketch again. I'll do this in the right view. I'll just hit N on the keyboard so I can um, view it from the right hand side, front on. And I'm going to create, I'll create one line. I'll just uh, go from here to here. I'm not going to worry too much about the measurements or anything like that. I'll just hit enter to finish off that line. Uh, and I'll just click off the line tool. So I've got my line here that's going to run down the center. Not, I'm not too worried about the measurements or accuracy at the moment. Um, I'll click the line tool again. And this time I'm going to draw the shape that I want to revolve. So I might draw it out like that and then um, I might have a bit going in here. It's going to look a little bit maybe like an egg timer. Click a point there and then I'll click another point here. I'll just make sure that it's all uh, symmetrical as much as it can be. And then I'll click a final point here and that's going to close the shape. It's now um, gone blue in the center so that's a closed shape. I'll click on done. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now what I'm going to do, I'll just zoom in a little bit. I'm going to just select these edges here. So I'll click while I'm holding down shift to select these uh, one, two, three, four lines here, but I'm not going to select the center line yet. So 
This is just like before when I selected the arc. I'm only selecting the lines that I want to revolve. Then I'll click revolve. And so it's selected all those edges there uh, to revolve. Now I'll click on revolve axis and I'll click on that center line. And there we go. Click uh, done there. And uh, that's the shape that we've ended up with. All right. So we'll be working through some more examples using the revolve tool in the next few tutorials. Um, but that's uh, it's a basic, basically how to use the revolve tool in Onshape. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.